Hey, Measuring Hero, Jay here. Today we thought we would come at you with some tips and tricks, this time for the Zaphire software. Again, as you're aware, we need to bring in really smart people, so we brought in Timo from the uh, Odetech team to uh, give us some tips and tricks. Timo, thanks for coming. Good to see you again, Jerry. Yeah, 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 good to see you again. Okay, we're gonna dive in. Um, Typically, uh, users of classic vision machines uh, aren't always uh, uh, super trained or even trained at all. Right. Yep. Maybe not even be metrologists, but they have to run part programs also. Do we have anything in Zaphire to help those people out? Yeah, we do. Um, Zaphire, in combination with the Odetect, has a so-called automatic pre-alignment. Yeah? You just place a part on the machine in the measurement volume the software recognizes where the part is placed and positioned and also the orientation and just, yeah, do the measurement. So take a part like this, this one, one yeah, you and can put do it, it anywhere in the volume. Correct. Doesn't Correct. matter where, I'm gonna put it there. Perfect. Uh, and then they just click run? Hit the run button. It's a tall order, Timo. <laughs> You see what's happening? The software and the machine is acquiring an overview image, okay. recognizes position and orientation of the part, and just starts to measure. Uh, so we took an overview image, it uh, roughly aligns, yeah. aligned it, clocked it in position, Correct. and then the program, based on that rough alignment, will start. Correct, exactly. Simplifying the process to just put it down and. Yep. And then it's quite easy because you, yeah, you don't have any impact on the, uh, on the user. You just place it, you don't have to be trained. Uh, in the end, you get your protocol and that's it. And it's done. Well, okay, um, that's easy uh, for a user. Is this hard to program? No, let me show you. For instance, you, yeah, you have such parts. It's just a profile of mm -hmm. something. Uh, let's do an example here. We just place it here and I'm going to show you how, yeah, how we program that. So let's start a new project with a new part on it. Okay. We acquire a new overview image. Then the next step, we just define a so-called automatic pre-alignment. That's just a few clicks. We define it, we run it once, and the only thing you have to do is you grab or you create this rectangle around the part. Oh, so and here's this is where you're telling it. Exactly, what you're exactly. For. And in the CNC run, it's just searching for this image. Okay, and now we proceed programming. Just start. You see here, also a big benefit of the overview camera. You just click on the overview image and the machine moves the measuring camera to that position. Oh, wow, that's great. You're not even touching the joystick. Correct. Exactly. We just make or create a sharp image. We define that circle as an element. And we define, for instance, here a diameter. Mm -hmm. We directly get the result. Let's do it once again. We just move it or we <laughs> click on the overview image. We define the element create the characteristic you can just set yeah how Whatever it should be called want. in the yeah. in the protocol afterwards we run it and you get the value yeah more or less that's it you just collect all your features or your characteristics yep. and it's done okay but now it's up to you again so that's programmed we're done correct <laughs> and now we if we want to run this again i we, i can put it anywhere so correct i just can just replace it move it over there some random location yeah and click run again? You want to do it or I do it? <laughs> you do it. <laughs> so again, camera is acquiring the overview image, recognizes the new position and immediately starts to measure. Look at that. That's crazy. So uh, I came at you with uh, easy to uh, run a program and you counter that with easy to run and easy to program. Correct. Easy to run. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But now it's time for a curveball. Yeah. Like I said before, our users aren't always uh, uh, trained mm -hmm. uh, or even metrologists, and sometimes they uh, just need a quick 
and dirty measurement so that they can say it's roughly this much so they can take it back to their Correct. machine and keep moving. Uh, is Zapphire set up for those users? Correct, yeah. We, there is also functionality called yeah, manual measurement, template measurement. So exactly that case that you mentioned, uh, just measuring or inspect something and you just measure in the image, you click specifically on the features. And that is what I'm going to show you with such a PCB board, uh, electronics mm -hmm. part. You see a lot of tiny little features on it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, maybe the customers, they just want to have a specific distance or a specific um, yeah, diameter. They just need to place it and measure it manually. And that is what we are going to do now. We place it. We create a new project. Again, new overview image. Yeah, that overview image is pretty key, right? Correct, yeah. You can move around the part That's really easy. That's key for Sapphire in combination with that mm -hmm. O-Detect here. OK, let's start. Again, we just move to a certain position. Just click it, yeah. We activate, in this case, uh, yeah, the light, blue light or white light, depends, and we just dive into here. We create a sharp image. You <laughs> see all the tiny little features. In wow. that case, we have a very good resolution. Yep. And you just define where you think you want to evaluate something. That's it, three clicks. Three clicks in this case, yeah. And you can just, for instance, you move to the next position, you just grab it and place it again, and you are able to define it manually. Sure, wow. So quite easy. Yeah, that is very easy. All right, well, um, you've taken all my, uh, everything I've pitched at you, so uh, thanks for that. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna think of more curveballs for you, uh, but uh, until then, can we ask you back? Sure. Whenever? Okay. Sure. Awesome. Timo, thanks. Thank Appreciate you. you joining it was a pleasure. Us. Yep, we'll see you again soon. And for you out there, uh, hope you enjoyed uh, some tips and tricks for uh, Zapphire software to make your measuring easier. Uh, don't forget to stay safe and stay healthy, and see you next Thursday.